is you, you eventually got the assignment on Harper all night and just kind of what what did you try what did you try to do to, to slow him down and um, and just kind of limit his game. Uh, I mean that's a tough player to slow down. Um, he's a great great player. You know he scores 30 points tonight. Um, you know the coaches did a good job of letting us know the type of stuff they would run for him. Um, I thought we did some good things. A lot of guys were in help for me against him. Um, he made some tough shots. Um, you know, there's some plays I went back in the second half defensively for myself, um, but that's all part of the learning process. Um, you know, there's a lot of plays in general I went back at the end of the game for myself just to try and help the team get the win. Um, but it's just all a learning process. Um, just got to keep playing hard, and you know, that's really all I can do. But he's a he's a great player, so you just have to try and limit him. And you know, we we're only going to limit him for so long. Um, you know, he, he hurt us tonight. Like you and Jaden did exactly what you're supposed to do on the final thing. You had him kind of hemmed in against the sideline there. What you just kind of stepped through it, right? Yeah, um, I've never seen I've never seen somebody shoot a half court shot like that where he basically split us. I was I didn't want to be anywhere near him just in case they would call a foul. Um, so I just wanted to show my hands and credit to him, man. That's an unbelievable shot uh, by an unbelievable player. So um, you know, there's there's nothing else to it. They, um, you know. Usually that's that kind of stuff happens when you know, the other team goes, brother. Um, you know, they, they just come in and they, and they fought and they played really hard. Um, they played to their strengths and playing at home, this is a really tough environment. Um, so we just got to keep working and kind of regroup and, you know, it's not the end of the road for us. We're in December. So we got a long, long road ahead and just we're going to get better and come out. Just the impact offensive rebounding had for you guys, is that just becoming kind of like a security blanket for your offense where even if things aren't working, you can always kind of fall back on yeah. that? Yeah, I think so. And really not even me. Um, you know, I think Mason can do a lot better job to be as far as offensive rebounding just because of their physicality and their size. Um, but, um, you know, I, th I think definitely that's something that we lean on hard just because we have great, I mean, two of the best offensive rebounders in the country with Zach and Travion and Mason does an amazing job too. Um, so, I mean, it's not something you ever want to just rely on, but it's sure. good to have that um, kind of when you, when, you, when you go through some walls at times. Um, so we just got to keep, like I said, just keep focusing on that and playing hard and get better. Well, so you had two really big ones. The difference. Huh? Tonight, that seemed like that was going to be the difference tonight for yeah. you guys to... Definitely, yeah. definitely, especially, especially once they got in foul trouble. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job of taking advantage of that. Um, obviously, I don't, I'd have to go back and watch to see what all happened. I don't, you know, since my, <laughs> since my first game here last year, I haven't played this much, so I'm just kind of like a little bit zoned out right now along with the weather. But, um, but no, it was, it was, you know, something, something that we're great at and we got to keep working to be great at it. What's the lesson in this? Uh, there's a lot of lessons. Um, Coach Paint hit on it a lot in the locker room. So we just got to value possessions. Um, no matter if it's the first play of the game or the last play of the game, they all add up to something. Um, you know, if, if one one play that happened during the game changes, you know, and we do something, we do something to change it and get a bucket, then or get a stop, you know, then then that's the that's the game right there. Um, you know, I can think of a few for myself just throughout the game that I kind of want back. You know, like I said earlier, but um, it's all part of the process, and you know, I think we're going to be better because of it in the long run. So, this wasn't your guys' best offensive game. Did that have anything to do with the road? You think that that have to do with Rutgers? What was just one of those um, nights? I don't know. I mean. That's never a crutch that we should have. I mean, no matter where we're playing or who we're playing against, but the atmosphere was unbelievable atmosphere. So I'll give credit to them and their fans. Um, you know, a lot of, for a lot of us, it was our first true road game. So I think you know we'll keep getting better and adjusting in that department. Um, but but, um, but overall, just you know, I, I, that that's, that can't be an excuse for us. You know, mm -hmm. um, we have to find ways to overcome that kind of stuff. Um, and just and just play our game and get what we want. Thank you.